In this video, we'll be doing a water jug test with a 30 out 6 and a 7mm backcountry. And if you're thinking the test between these two cartridges is simply a waste of time because the 30 out 6 is simply going to blow the 7 backcountry away, stay tuned to the end of the video because you may be surprised at just how well the 7 backcountry competes here. We'll also show some ballistic gel block comparison between the two cartridges and discuss the velocity we got with the 7 backcountry. Here's a look at the 7 backcountry for those who are unfamiliar with the cartridge. It's new this year from Federal. Federal promised velocities that exceeded 7mm PRC with shorter 20 inch barrels. They were able to achieve this with their new peak alloy technology which is loaded at 80,000 PSI and by achieving this with less recoil. The lower recoil is achieved by using a faster burning propellant but having to use less of that propellant in a stronger steel alloy case. For today's test, I'll be using my brand new Weatherby 307 Range XP, chambered in, you guessed it, 7mm backcountry. And this is a 20 inch barrel. The ammo for this test, we'll be using a fusion tipped Federal 175 grain with the 7 backcountry, and we'll be using Precision Hunter for the 30 out 6, and that's 178 grain. In regard to recoil, shooting the 7 backcountry felt a lot like shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor. And in my opinion, even a little less. Each shot with the 7 backcountry was over 3,000 feet per second. Up first, we got the 30 out 6. Let's count the water jugs from the 30 out 6. We got 1, 2, 3. And we're at the table into the 4th. Got a hole in the front and an exit wound in the back and now we are in the fifth water jug and it looks like we got our round there in the bottom of the fifth water jug now the seven back country Alright, we got one, two, into the third, that one is shredded up, and now we're in the fourth, into the fifth water jug, in and out, still shredding these up, and we're in the sixth water jug now, and it looks like down in the bottom, nope, we came out of the sixth, and now we're into the seventh water jug. And there's our bullet down there in the bottom of the seventh water jug. So let's pour this thing out and take a look at it. And I guess when I decided to pour the water out to show the seven backcountry, I just wasn't going to get the bullet in the camera. The 30 out 6 retained 94 grain, which is about 53% retention. And the 7mm backcountry retained 108 grains, which is about 62% retention. Here's another look at both of those rounds. The 30 out 6 is on the left. Which bullet do you think performed better in the water jug test? The 7 backcountry was able to penetrate about 3 water jugs further than the 30 out 6, and it retained about 10% more of its material over the 30 out 6 in this test. Let's see how these cartridges did in ballistics gel. Can you guess which is which? Well, the 30 out 6 is on the bottom and the 7mm backcountry is the wound channel on top. That wound channel is a wider, longer wound channel than the 30 out 6, uh, which is on the bottom. My Federal Fusion tipped 30 out 6 ammo did come in, so I'll get to go back out and run these tests all over again with the uh, same ammo. Federal has released a video showing you can reload the 7mm backcountry and its peak alloy case. Based on penetration and retention, I think the clear winner from today's test is the 7 Backcountry. Go down in the comments and let us know what you think about the 30 out 6 and the 7 Backcountry water test and what you think about the 7 Backcountry overall.